Today, it's all about PCOS and metformin. If you're taking metformin for PCOS or you're considering taking metformin for PCOS, then watch this video so you can learn all about what it actually does and how you can maximize your fertility while taking this. Welcome back to Fertility Mom. I'm Rose, and if you want all of the natural, science-based tips, tricks, and secrets to help you get pregnant naturally and faster, or if you want it to help you with IVF or wherever you are in your trying to conceive journey, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you know when I give you new stuff every week. Today we're gonna to talk about PCOS and metformin because we've been talking about PCOS a lot and I'm getting a lot of questions into my inbox about the medications that doctors are prescribing you guys and I just want to talk a little bit about metformin specifically since this is one of the first things that my ladies are put on. So let's talk about it, let's get in right now. Real quick disclaimer though, this video is not to replace actual medical advice you get from your medical care practitioner. This is just an educational video. I always believe that you should always have the most information that you can get and I'm giving you the most up-to-date actual research information that you can find. The research that I'm going to present to you today I actually found it was it was published like two weeks ago. So we're doing new stuff here and you should always 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 be looking out for your own health especially your fertility since we've only got a certain window ladies we gotta get it done when we need to get it done. So obviously consult with your healthcare practitioner but always take it in your own hands to learn the most you can. Okay, first, what is metformin? So metformin is a medication used to treat type two diabetes. And it's a little disconcerting, but it's true. We don't 100% know how it works. We are literally discovering something every couple of months, every few weeks, every year. There's several more research studies that are put out about how metformin works, what's it, its exact mechanism of action, and your doctor may have told you, okay, take metformin for your PCOS because it helps with the insulin resistance and it helps decrease your glucose. And that may have been like the most you got. And they may have even gone so far as to say it acts directly on the liver and it acts indirectly on the cells to make them react to insulin even more. They may go more in depth with you depending on your personal practitioner. But what we are recently finding, and I mean recently, like this year, just a couple of months ago, we, there was another article published last week. This is November of 2019, so there was another article published last week um, all about this stuff, about metformin and the fact that we don't actually understand its exact mechanism of action. So while we used to think that its direct action was on the liver, it's actually seeming like its direct action is actually in your intestines, in your gut, which is totally crazy to think about because metformin does a ton of different things in the body but all of it is indirect and its direct action is in the gut. And this is really, really, really important for a few different reasons. Okay, so one of the important things that you should understand about taking metformin for PCOS is that it actually inhibits the absorption of vitamins B12 and B6. And this is actually pretty significant because we know from some of the other videos that I've done and all of the research that's out there that vitamin B12 is incredibly important in fertility. You could be perfectly healthy, picture of health, everything is great, all your lab levels are great, and if you have a vitamin B12 deficiency, that could be the thing keeping you from getting pregnant. That causes ovulatory dysfunction in men, it causes sperm quality, motility, morphology issues. It's a big deal. So we don't actually know how much you should supplement with the B12 while you're taking metformin because this is a relatively new finding, so we're there's not really a lot of research done specifically on that. But if you are taking metformin, you should at the very minimum make sure that you're eating meat. If you are a vegetarian or vegan, you need to find a really good quality vitamin B12 supplement. The second really important thing to understand with the metformin, the metformin, it's like the Google, but no. <laughs> the second thing to understand with metformin is that because it acts in the gut, it's actually changing your gut microbiome. It's changing the gut flora. And this is really important because you know that your gut flora, the microbiome in your intestines, actually creates the basis, the foundation for which your health and your well-being is built on. 
If your intestinal microbiome, your gut flora is off in whatever, you could be suffering from yeast, you could have bacterial vaginosis because you know your gut flora, all of those good bacteria, bad bacteria are reflected in your vaginal flora as well. So we wanna make sure that your gut flora is really, really healthy, that you're, that you're adding in a probiotic. If you're on metformin, you should be taking a really good probiotic to help balance out and get those good bacteria in there to help keep those bad bacteria at bay. And another really important thing that you need to understand about metformin is that it, I mean, it is a Band-Aid, it's a medication. So you're taking a medication that has an effect in the body, but it's not actually treating the root cause, it is treating the symptoms. So we've talked about this in my other videos. I very, very much want you to understand PCOS is a treatable condition with diet and lifestyle alone. It's not something that you need to suffer with. It's not something that you're gonna have symptoms of forever, especially if you treat it at the root cause with your diet and your lifestyle. So if you're taking metformin for PCOS, it's great to help you get over that hump and start to really get your fertility and your hormones balanced, but it is not going to be the thing that actually treats the root cause. It's gonna be a Band-Aid for now. So if you were taking the metformin and you had kind of a relief of some of these symptoms, if you stopped taking it, everything would come back because it doesn't actually take care of the problem. You have to take care of the problem through diet and lifestyle. So that's really important to know. I want you to watch one of the videos that I'm gonna to link to up here and definitely hit down below into the discussion section and I will link to a bunch of my videos there and you can look into what kind of diet and lifestyle changes you need to make to help treat the root cause of your PCOS. Okay, so in terms of taking metformin and the dose and when to take and how to take and blah, 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 I'm gonna leave that up to you to have that discussion with your care provider. Just general information, it's usually given to you in pill form, 500 milligrams to start, uh, and then up to 1,000 if you need to. Usually they bring you up to 1,000, and also it depends on your case. So your dose is gonna depend on you. So that's something you have to talk about with your care provider I will tell you the most common side effect that people complain about is nausea. Um, so having kind of an upset stomach from it. Now that is again, something you can minimize by trying to take it at night and seeing how that does. Um, but again, if you're taking metformin for PCOS and you are getting an upset stomach, definitely, definitely, definitely take a look at the diet and the lifestyle factors that you can change to help decrease that insulin resistance at the source. That, that would be like the number one thing absolutely for anybody who's having PCOS is to do that. And then you can come off the metformin and then you know exactly how to treat your syndrome and your symptoms for the rest of your life. And you don't need to depend on somebody else to come in and rescue you because you, you are the answer. You can rescue yourself from this. And I've seen it many times and I know you can do it. All right, ladies, that was me and PCOS and metformin. I hope you learned something. Um, some of the stuff I gave you today is actually something that we're just learning. Like a couple weeks ago, these papers came out um, on this research. So that's pretty interesting to know. And if you liked this video and you want to see more, definitely hit the thumbs up down below, subscribe, hit the bell, ask me questions. If you have something that you're taking that your doctor asked you to, to take and you want to know more about it, definitely ask me questions. There's also natural supplements that you can take that are similar, have similar effects on insulin um, that metformin does. So if you want me to get into detail on those, then definitely comment down below. Other than that, I'm so glad you joined me here today. Make sure you head to my website to download your free five-step fertility boosting guide and lots of great stuff in there. And I will see you next time. Bye ladies.